Yo, yo, peeps, so we're here. We're at Alex's house. We're doing another review. Geo chatting breeze, Alex with a beard, and we're at the uh, bully ball pit as usual. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reviewing the Pop Culture Shock Mech Zangief. Now, this is, this is the exclusive. This is a very rare piece. Alex has picked this up. So stay tuned to hear our thoughts on it, yeah? All right, everyone, so we're back. And uh, as Joe said, we're gonna go over the Mech Zangief. Um, I picked this piece up the other day, I was, uh, Going through my um, eBay search um, searches there, going through them, and this popped up. Uh, I looked on my uh, PayPal account, and I had some uh, some money sitting there from, uh, funny enough, cancelling all my popcorn shop orders, <laughs> or and cancelling my my popcorn shop orders. Yeah. Um, so I had the money sitting there, and this came up, and uh, I basically bought it as a piece that um, I really wanted to see in person. I really wanted to review it. Mm. Um, in all honesty, I have no intention of, of keeping it. I just bought it as a piece that I knew um, it was quite rare, and uh, I kind off, of I kind of got it to uh, to either sell or trade up. Mm. Um, so basically, what we do is uh, we'll start straight away. We'll go on to the box. So uh, sort of typical of the uh, sort of pop culture shock start. Just gonna over it. Yeah, go straight into it. So um, this has got the uh, actual the normal Zangief on there. So uh, you've got the picture there on the front. Actually, it has that little box, doesn't it, that basically says it's a mech Zangi. Other than that, yeah. this is the box that you would get with the card. Huh? Card, you mean? No, no, on the front of the box. On the front of the box, oh. there's, a, there's a little square that says mech oh, Zangi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And other than that, the rest of yeah, the box yeah, that's is standard Zangi. It's actually a sticker. Is it? Yeah, it's been oh. stuck over the top. Oh, it is, yeah. So that's just, that's just, that's that's a cheaper yeah. option. Um, and then there's not really the Street Fighter logo. Uh, this is, uh, says on the back, Zangief, core scale statue. Uh, this wrestler is popularly known as the Red Cyclone. Inside his massive chest beats the heart of a true patriot. Russian patriot, let's add that. He didn't say Russian. Does it say Russian? No, it doesn't say Russian. He is Russian. I know he's Russian, but he doesn't say it. Yeah, but he is. Uh, then on the bottom here, you've got uh, 52 of 75. So, yeah, so, and the regular edition, which you can see on the box, the skin colored um, Zangief is one of 300. So actually only 375 worldwide editions between the two. Um, obviously the Mecha one being extremely uh, more sought after. Um, the funny thing about this is that it originates from the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom series where Zangief, Mecha Zangief, is a secret character. Um, he was designed by Shadow Lou. Was it Street Fighter vs. Uh, X-Men? No. Okay. It was Marvel, it was uh, Capcom vs. Street Fighter? So yeah, Street Fighter vs. Oh, no, yeah, Street Fighter vs. Well, like you said, Marvel. You said Marvel versus Capcom. Marvel versus Street Fighter, I think. I know, some of them, anyway. He's, uh, yeah, but that's the original. You've lost my train of thought now. That's the original character that basically is a secret character in there. He's, the, the history behind him um, is that he was built by Shadow Lou. Um, he's actually meant to be like a, you know, like a Hulkbuster sort of thing. Yeah, he's yeah. meant to be like a uh, Zangief stopping machine. <laughs> um, he's, what I found really interesting when I was reading up on the character was that. He's actually coated in something which is called, uh, is it ceramic, ceramic titanium? Ceramic titanium. Yeah, and basically that's, that, that same material is like a copy of um, another material made by Dr. Light, which covers Mega Man. Um, yeah, so that, a little nod to Mega Man. Yeah, there's a little nod there. So that's like Capcom. So yeah, yeah, really good, really nice touch there. I've never actually played the game, but apparently he can't be stunned and he can't be knocked down, but he's incredibly slow. Yeah. All right, so basically what we do then is uh, we'll go straight onto the piece. So, um, typical pop culture shock base, um, plain black, nothing special to it. No. Um, one of the things that we, we kind of didn't notice that uh, with these older pieces, so you have it with Guile and uh, you have it with the um, Zangief as well, is the fact that there's no pegs and no magnets, there's just these kind of big uh, keys. Um, yeah. So literally, you know, you just take them out like that. Yeah, there's literally see. these sort of big you can see that uh, uh, wedges on there like that. Yeah, and just sort of. I mean, this is actually um, a lot tighter than the guy. Well, was this, this is this is a bit of like a bit base to it. Yeah, a bit of stance to him because guy was like upright. Yeah, straight legged. Um, and then you kind of work your way up. So you kind of got these boots, really nice detail in there where they've actually got the material laces in there. It's, it's actually in in sculpted. 
and it's done in a really, really good way. Um, one of the probably the better, sort of really good, like. Uh, I think this is one of the best pair of boots yeah. I've, I've seen, definitely, on pop culture <laughs> shock pieces. And then you go, go up, you got some. I'm laughing at that, is what you said. And you work your way up, and you've got like um, the muscles there, so you've got like all the veins in the legs, all the scars from um, where he was like fighting black brown bears or something. Yeah, in Serbia. Um, yeah, Serbia. Serbia. Um, and then, as you say, you, you work your way up. He's got his little pants on, so that's his little actually, pants. That's actually he's demasculating his usual. Yeah, he's, he's wearing his little pants today. So there's like material as well, and then you got the belt. On the actual um, on, on Sideshow's website, if you go onto there, his belt is actually blue. And, the pictures um, are blue, yeah. You can see where he is actually blue underneath, and uh, they painted over it. So probably there was a bit of a backlash on how it looked. So people decided that uh, maybe Capcom wanted like to change. Maybe it could be something like that. Uh, and then working your way up, you've got the sort of body sculpt, hair on the chest, um, and then you work up and uh, you know, you've got the, the face and uh, you can you can switch out the face. We won't do that yet. I've got to say that the thing that, that surprised me the most when I walked in, because when I walked in today, it was at, on the counter side ready for review, yeah. and it is massive, much bigger mm. than I thought it was going to. I've seen pictures, yeah. I've seen reviews um, of it, and it really did take me by surprise. That I mean, the sheer girth of this character. I mean, across the lats alone, I measured, and they're around ten inches. Yeah. If you do the shot just across his back, which is probably like about this. One, I mean, he's so mm. he's so thick set, and it's really. Well, I think I mean I've seen pictures of I think it was Omar who's got probably four of them, but uh, I've seen the pictures and Omar had one in a Besta, and when you see in a Besta, it looks quite small. It just you it's kind of see it, you're like, yeah, it just doesn't look like the right scale, but. When you see it in hand, it's, you, you just kind of realise how actually big he is. And actually, I, I heard on review, I watched that review that he did on the regular, and he, obviously he wasn't impressed with it, but he said that it was like really light. I, oh, I, I believe he said it was really light. I, this is not light. You're talking about Emperor Fahala? Yeah. I'm talking about, sorry, Emperor. Oh, you were talking Emperor. about Emperor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Emperor, I think he, I, I'm, I'm not going to quote him, but I thought he said it was light. This actually really doesn't feel light to me. Yeah, I mean, you can feel that it's hollow, but it's heavy. It's but it's a thick piece. cast, isn't it? It's a thick um, hollow. It's not like a, it doesn't feel light and no, it, doesn't, it feels premium. Yeah. I've got to say that. Um, so then you just turn around and give him a look on the back. So uh, basically, uh, you know, you've got all the scars there on the back and the massive back there as well. Huge. Uh, and then you've got the belt, uh, the trousers, I mean, so, um, pants, pants, yeah, <laughs> and then the back of the legs. Is the first comic character based on a wrestling style? You know that? Comic? Uh, game character. That's fighting game character that's based on a wrestling grappling style is Zangief. Okay. Which is a really, you know, it's a nice touch for all us boys who love the WWE. Get in there, bitch. Just giving him a little 360 there, so. I have to yeah. say, I, I really do like the paint job on this piece. I don't know what it is about it, but it's it has a very um, distinctive, almost two-tone colour about it. Mm. That when it hits the light, it sort of appears almost sort of an aluminium-y type. Yeah. And then when you when you sort of it's in the shade it's it's a little bit more like a steel. It's yeah, really yeah. it's really nice, especially on the insides of the thighs. You and know where the uh, the shade in between the creases and things yeah. like that. But you know where the, the muscle separates in the thighs. Mm. It just when you look at it, it almost looks like it's a two tone. Very very nice. I, I I'm, I'm surprised how much I like it. Actually. And when you when you get this uh, delivered, you actually have the the base. Uh, you have the body. Uh, you have the hands. They they come off. So they just come off like this. Also. You've got the heads, so the heads come off. I prefer, I have to say I prefer this head. Yeah, I do as well. Um, there is also a, um, an open mouth head, which is on some of the, if you Google it, you can see that, but I don't think it was actually sent out. So yeah, there, there are pictures of it with, its, with white teeth and yeah. an open mouth, which we, this is obviously the, the other head version. And that's the other head there with the red teeth. And he was also wearing nail varnish as well, so... Well, he isn't wearing well nail varnish. <laughs> He's got red eyes, red teeth, red inside of mouth, yeah. red nails. It's the, it's the character, the way he was done. Mm. So back the fuck off. I wish I should have done my, my hair like that for the day. I would have loved to do my hair. hair. I, I, do you know what? I, I'm, super, I'm super impressed with this piece. I didn't... I, I've got to be honest. I think it might be the best pop culture shock piece I've seen. Yeah, I mean... So, yeah. Street Fighter-wise. I mean, Guile... Really was nice, but I think this is. I think this is really got so much more presence yeah. to it. There's the body sculpt's crazy. So this was sculpted by John. Is it Cleary? Cleary. Didn't he? Cleary. Didn't he do Guile as well? 
I'm not sure. You're the one who had the car. Yeah, I think he might have done Gile well, too. Well, he doesn't work with Bob Culture Shock anymore. So. But he'd done a fantastic yeah. job with this. I mean, the body. I mean, just the way that he got the uh, the triceps, especially and the shoulders. I mean, I mean, that is a really exceptional sort of body sculpt on that. It really mm. does look nice. He's done a great job. Really impressed with that. So I mean, uh, as I say, we you normally get these cards with the Pop Culture Shock pieces. Yeah. So it's uh, just a six by four uh, postcard there, and you'll have um, the sculptors. Um, signatures, so yeah, John, uh, John Cleary, and then you'll have the, uh, the uh, designer, which is uh, Jay Bracalo. So, so you got those on there, and uh, I've always liked those. I've always liked. I think they're a nice touch too. Um, and then also, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Um, Joints pretty bad. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, the joint on the back of the head is uh, is quite bad. But then again, I mean, it's kind of about the angles you're going to see it from, and. Most angles, you're, you're not really going to see the join. Um, what do you dislike? Well, I don't like, yeah, as I said, I don't like the uh, the join on the neck. Uh, some of the paint could be better. And there is also, um, which George pointed out to me, which I didn't notice, there is a line of kind of paint where it kind of runs from here and it goes across his, um, his wrist guard thing. Uh, and it goes along there. So that's, you know, that could, that could have been done better. That's a bit of a... Of a let down, and there are little parts where I mean, there's little bubbles and things kind of on his back there, Painted which deck pieces, yeah, yeah, you could say they're warts or still spots on his back. It's got, yeah, he's got a blackhead on his back, or something. yeah, yeah. My wife would um, love to get that, yeah. Oh, that was the thing I was going to say actually. Was about um, my wife, no, no, yeah, baby wife. <laughs> um, when by seeing this, it actually made me think about you know, everyone goes on about how good the Akuma is and how great the Akuma is and how it's one of the best pieces they've ever seen. And I think by seeing this, it actually made me think maybe they got a point because I've always seen the Akuma and thought what the fuck come on really is yeah. it really that good yeah um, and then I've also heard that this piece isn't very good I've heard from some of the, the Street Fighter collectors that this is a good piece but it's not an amazing piece it's kind of you giving me a new it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, a new bit of hope for the for the Akuma and I, I can't wait to see I mean Joe's I thought across a big foot isn't it? yeah Joe's you see a really good one you start believing <laughs> Well, yeah, everyone's always got a shitty camera when they see yeah. a big foot. Yeah, but you know what I mean? You, it's like this, you see a really, you, you see this, mm. and it's like it's got this sort of like a grail element to it from pop culture shock, you know, heritage. And you look at it and you're like, actually, I really like, I mean, I don't I don't know if I could do, I don't know, two grand or whatever they do, or 1500, I don't know if I yeah. could do that on yeah. it personally, but I've got to be honest, when I walked in today and I saw it, I was, I, part of me in my mind was like, you know what, I'm really disappointed that I sold my guy on because I will try and get this off you mm. and have it with God because it's a really nice piece. Well, that's, that's, that's one of the things I thought. When I when I basically saw this, I opened up the box and I was like, yeah, George is going to love this. George yeah. is going to think to himself, oh, shit, if I collect a street bike, I'll build over it. I and I it. definitely thought that. I definitely I think thought that. I well, you know you were. I definitely would have done. Oh, okay. So get so do what I'm doing. Uh, me. Tape you measure, do measure, I'll do the way. So I do the tape measure, right? And uh, what do we do? Do we do, 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 we do? So depth. We are going to go depth wise is 28 centimeters, which is 11 inches. Mm -hmm. And then width is going to be. I think his arms do slightly come off that base. Just uh, near. Not much. I think it's about 13, 14 inches. Mm, I think it's going to be just a little bit over that. Yeah. So that is, yeah, 14 inches, which is about 36. I mean, out of. 600 reviews, you finally got it right. Thanks, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for fucking while. Yeah. But and it's then, worth uh, it, just once. And then the height wise here is going to be about uh, 16, 17. No, no, no. That's easy. A shade under 18 inches. Okay, which is about 46 centimeters. Uh, what we do then is we'll measure him, we'll weigh him even. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll put him on the scale. Underneath. Do you have a guess? Well, I can't see the scale, can I? Um, I'm going to go with. <sighs> I'm only going to go about maybe seven and a half kilos. It's nine and a half kilos. Oh, okay. Well, crap, which is uh, twenty point nine pounds. Pretty good weight and very displayable. So I mean, you can get that in a best star. Uh, you can display it with. Not. I don't really think you'll get another piece in there unless you have like Chung Lee in front of him or something. Eat on. Um, what was the width for the end? 14, 15, no, it no. 14 wide. Oh, is it? You yeah. might even be able to get the detail off, I don't know, but... Uh, Definitely won't play, place it high though. It's no, high, no, put it low. 
So uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Let us know if you have the piece. Let us know uh, what you're displaying with. Let us know if you have the original as well, the actual um, regular version. And uh, let us know what you think is better, the better one out of the two. So um, also there is a custom on the way as well, which looks very good. Mm. It comes with a little beer bottle. So uh, let Alex know if there's something you want to trade. Yeah, let us know if you've got a piece to trade. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Much love, man. Peace. Boom, boom. Let me do it, stand there. It's going really well. Let me you fucking shit, just stand there. <laughs> We're gonna go for the uh Ze the Zek Zek Mangi Zek Zek Butcha Yeah cooking. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna weigh him, we're gonna measure him, uh we're gonna take out the box. Wait, he's already out of the box, fucking hell, I'm over there. <laughs> good to good to well. Don't read the dirt. Right, so what we do then is we'll careful. Yes, then it's careful because of which isn't it? Song zero, are you ready? Hold on. I want to cut to something, so. Can I get into that book? <laughs> no. Do I'm again. Um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to move it back to so I can get back in there. I don't want it back here. I want to take the whole fucking screen time. You can have it, dude. Let's <laughs> <laughs> stop it, start again.